Taekwondo versus Kickboxing. Taekwondo and Kickboxing are two fighting styles that utilize the legs to devastating effect. However, both are very different in their practice as well as their origins. What the two fighting formats have in common is that both are highly popular and when used correctly can be a very effective form as self-defense and if necessary, offense. What we're going to look at in this video is the origins of both art forms, the differences between them, which is better and which would win in a fight. Before we get into our list, remember to give us a thumbs up and a quick click on our subscribe button to get more videos like this one and support Brutal TV. Taekwondo is a martial art form with origins in Korea. The name Taekwondo is derived from the Korean words Tai, foot, Kwan, fist, and Do, way of. The fighting style was able to flourish after the end of colonization of the Japanese in Korea post-World War II. The techniques that are used in the sport actually go back centuries coming from a mix of ancient Korea and Chinese martial arts. Taekwondo as we now know it typically relies on the martial art forms which were established in the 1950s and 1960s in the South Korean military. Over time, Taekwondo became the official martial art of Korea with a national academy founded in the early 70s and unified governing body to oversee the martial art. Its international recognition was cemented when it was included in the 2000 Olympic Games and remains there to this day. Kickboxing is a style far less rigid in its practice, and you can start to understand why when you look at its origins. American kickboxing started because karate practitioners, as well as some taekwondo practitioners, were tired of the strict guidelines of traditional martial arts competitions. None of the traditional martial arts competitions allowed for full contact punches and kicks. Kickboxing filled that gap in the market and the first competition was held in 1970. Kickboxing was essentially the MMA of its day, a new sport born out of a desire to mix martial arts and looser guidelines to what was already available. Joe Lewis, a martial artist that studied different forms from Shorin Ryu Karate, boxing, and Jeet Kune Do, directly from Bruce Lee, approached promoter Lee Faulkner for a full contact bout to take place at the Pro Team Karate Championships against Kempo stylist Greg Oum Baines. The first heavyweight kickboxing championship was born. Because karate and kickboxing at the time were hard to tell apart, the Professional Karate Association and the World Kickboxing Association were formed to differentiate the two. Taekwondo is thought to be the right way of using Tai and Kwan, fist and feet, or all the parts of the body that are represented by fists and feet. It is also a way to control or calm down fights and keep the peace. The style is to very much defend and defuse a situation rather than go on the offensive. This is a key difference with kickboxing. The concept comes from the meaning of Taekwon, to put fists under control. Attacking when needed, therefore, comes from the feet. The style is characterized by its emphasis on head height kicks, jumping spinning kicks, and fast kicking techniques. We're about halfway through our list now, and just a reminder to like this video and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top quality fighting videos. Kickboxing has its roots in many different fighting forms, with its main influences being karate and boxing. It involves kicking, punching, elbow and knee strikes, throws, locks, and grappling techniques during a fight. It also has its foundations in standard kicking and punching techniques. 
With this, it also has three main defensive styles with variation in each style based on the fighter. The term kickboxing can be used to group various stand-up styles from around the world that allow both punching and kicking, including Muay Thai, Kung Kumer, Savat, Aditara, Lethwe, and certain styles of full contact karate. What links all of these forms is that it's a hybrid fighting style that borrows various different elements from other existing martial arts with emphasis on using full body contact with all limbs to attack your opponent. So which of these is better, Taekwondo or kickboxing? This question really depends on what you want the martial art for because both come out well in different categories. For discipline, style, and grace, Taekwondo is hard to better. With its origins in ancient Korea and a modern development, the martial art has developed into something that is both good for self-defense but also technically brilliant. It's certainly on a level with traditional karate and kung fu for elegance. So for a formal martial art, Taekwondo is no doubt better. However, where kickboxing wins out is on aggression and attack. The sport was developed from a need for full contact fighting and this is where it has its strength. It utilizes almost any part of the body, almost all parts if you count Muay Thai, to inflict damage on your opponent. If Taekwondo represents a polished artistic form, then kickboxing is its rough and ready cousin. Now, kickboxing does also have discipline and has its roots in many traditional fighting styles, so it's not all about going in for a scrap, but it is undoubtedly more raw than Taekwondo, so for offensiveness, kickboxing has to take it. We have here then one martial art with exceptional artistry and self-defense and another that uses a hybrid of styles for the most effective form of offense. This brings to mind the unstoppable force versus an immovable object debate. So what would win in a fight? Well, the big question here is what kind of fight? If the fight is being scored on technicalities and points, then it'd be difficult to look past Taekwondo as this is the foundation of the sport. Kickboxing would inevitably fall foul of these guidelines and become as frustrated as when the sport was formed in the first place. But if we're talking about a raw street fight, then the offensiveness and wide range of ways a kickboxer could inflict damage would mean that someone practicing Taekwondo would have a hard time defending against someone using their entire body to inflict pain on them. With little guidelines in the world of kickboxing, in the scenario on the street where there are also few if any guidelines, it'd be hard to look beyond the kickboxer. So in the dojo, you'd be better putting your money on Taekwondo. But out on the street, the safe bet is kickboxing. 